here you'll see an approach that I did on the tube, um, which was quite fun. Um, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, you should be doing, um, you know, just because it's a tube, in a tube situation doesn't mean you can't approach. So, you know, there's always, you know, different kinds of environments that are always possible to do. And um, yeah, the tube is definitely one of those places. Um, so yeah, here's the clip. So, it's Jimmy. Yeah, hi, I, I like your style. It's really like unique. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank it's like it's got like quite a London style. Uh, yeah. it's, it's something that you don't really see that often. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What's, your, what's your name, by the way? Fran. Francesca. Fran. Ahmed. Sorry, nice I'm to meet being you. really rude. <laughs> no, that's no, nice, nice to meet you. Meet yeah, you. yeah. You've got a strong handshake, actually. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't I hate expecting that. In, uh, hate You've got a business handshake. handshake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are sorry, you? I'm so so tired. I can barely speak. Go no, on, you're sorry. doing okay. <laughs> I'm actually really knackered myself, actually, because yeah. I didn't realise it was Easter um, Sunday today oh, okay. until like yesterday, <clears throat> and yeah. then um, yeah, I just kind of. Uh, yeah, What's I was just like, Ed, 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 yeah, nice yeah. to meet you, Ed. Nice to meet you, yeah. yeah. You're actually quite friendly, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> really? I, was just, I didn't know what to expect from you. Like, serious, yeah. a bit hard, is it? No, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Yeah, but yeah you're, well, London, it's, it's, it's a bit London anti, is hard. It's a bit it, antisocial so. in general, yeah. this place, isn't it? Are you, are you not from London? I am, actually. Okay. <laughs> you you yeah. sound like you are, Same, well. pretty much. I've lived here for about 10 years, but oh, yeah, okay. family's from... Yeah. Oh, okay. You you look exotic though. I think like my dad's is your... Italian. My oh, dad's is it? From Naples, yeah. Okay. And yeah. your mum? Irish. Really? Mm. Oh, okay. That's a good mix. Yeah. <laughs> don't they normally hate each other though? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I what's think, going on I there? think it's like the um, the immigrant thing. You know, they're like sort of. You know, obviously they both went over to Ellis Island, and there's a lot of sort of. Um, Correlation between the two, but maybe that makes them less oh, okay. friendly towards each other. I, I actually was, if I was going to guess, I would have said Middle Eastern. Yeah, a lot first. of people think yeah. that. It's the nose. It's the, it's the hair as well. It's, oh, like, it's a slight hint of blonde. Yeah, yeah. And, it, yeah. and your tan fake. skin. Is it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're cheating. I am you're cheating. You're trying to deceive people. That's yeah, what it is. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you I'm never guess this, but I'm actually half Spanish. Oh, are you? Half English, half Spanish. Can you speak Spanish? Yeah, I speak it, oh, yeah. Nice. But I don't look it, do I? No, not really. I know. I wish, yeah, you look kind of exotic yeah not really that English but no, I look super English really. but yeah yeah um, but yeah just going home now oh, yeah nice. what about you I'm going to work I'm a singer are you yeah yeah oh, I was gonna say you should quit your job if they're making you work on a Sunday evening but <laughs> no. actually no that's a cool job yeah that's yeah, a cool job to do it. Where, where do you do it in like a... all over the place tonight it's just a little um, <coughs> Uh, it's, a place called... it's just a little pub gig, oh, okay. but money's money. Is that sounds like, hard. yeah, is that, is, that sounds like... It's um... just a little duo, me and, a, okay. and uh, my guitarist. It, is play. that like your main thing? Or is yeah, it, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, cool. That's yeah, that's how I earn my living. Oh, yeah. nice. Cool, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I know like some people do that and then they do like acting or something on the side. No, yeah. I do want to get into acting actually, but I just don't really know where to start. I've never really? studied, I don't really have, you know, I don't really have the time to kind of study or anything. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I was, I, was, I was actually expecting you to be like super professional, like working in the city or professional because like your style is like, you know, you've got that elegant style, you know. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I, think, I suppose like you have to because you're going on stage or something. Yeah, exactly. Or is it, I, I know, don't usually wear this much makeup, oh, actually. Okay. <laughs> not, not do I, actually. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Only when I'm chatting up like strangers on the <laughs> on the tube, <laughs> I have to look unprepared. Yeah. 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 Do you, do you live like close uh, around here? No, or? That's not too far actually. That's Ooh. south, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, south. So you've got the northern line now, which is good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I'm actually meeting a friend just now in Bank. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Just finished. Yeah, so, yeah. but I can't, I'm so sorry, I don't sleep very well and I've had like um, five back-to-back -back gigs yeah. and haven't gotten in until like two in the morning. <coughs> I do like some filmmaking stuff, um, a bit of coaching, that kind of thing. What kind of um, coaching? So like, yeah, no, more like uh, social stuff, like confidence, that kind of stuff. Because Aww. you know, people are quite shy, yeah. and like um, you know, like people are very because of lockdown, everyone's like really closed off and inhibited. Yeah. So I'm helping with that kind of thing. That's really nice. So it's, it's quite a cool thing to do. Yeah, paid to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's been there's been quite a lot of um, I guess like more business because of the lockdown. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. Studies, um, 
for the what, sorry? I studied cognitive hypnotherapy for a little while. Oh, okay. Um, and I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of work that I studied it. Yeah. Yeah. Like branching out into coaching and that kind of thing. Is that like what you did at uni? Yeah. No, I didn't go to uni. Oh, did you? Oh, that was smart of you. Oh, I don't know about that. No, it is. Cause but like... this time, my mum went to uni and she was like 50, so... Really? Like, oh, it's not no. too late then. No. Yeah. I'm only 17. How old? 17. Just... Oh, okay. Right. I was just going to ask you how old you are. But, um, oh, I, I, don't know, I don't know if that was a rude question. Not really. I don't think it was a That's good. You're 35? No way. You look about 25. No, seriously, you do. I think it's the Italian in you. It's that Mediterranean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. station am I getting off of? So I, need to, I need to get off a bag, yeah. yeah. And, you know, when the sun goes down, you yeah, get like the nice, yeah, yeah, it's in the evening, it's quite good, yeah. yeah. my dad's a photographer. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, because the other alternative is to get up like really early, yeah. and then you do it like in the mornings, but that's like, uh, I don't really want to get up that early, you know, like at like four in the morning or something. But, yeah. Um, yeah. So I just do it in the evenings. It's much better. Yeah. It's a bit like you. You've got to like work a really odd schedule, like coming in the evening. When you're on there, like you're not thinking that, are you? You're just, you're just, you're just, you just have to do it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna collapse on stage, are you? Have you ever had that happen? No, it's not. Just like, just from sheer sleep deprivation, just like collapsing. Although my bass players had fallen asleep in rehearsal the other day, that was quite. Really? Oh, yeah. oh okay yeah. I used to have I used to have sleeping problems myself actually like um, like a year ago but then I did like you know that meditation stuff yeah yeah, yeah it helps quite a bit to like um, just to kind of like not not have like so many of your thoughts like preventing you from like sleeping yeah it just just helps you to relax more um, Might be my next stop. Um, if you want, like um, another time, you want to go grab a coffee. Yeah, I know it's like um, really random to like you know, like chat you up on the other tube, but you know. Um, okay, yeah. Do you have like what's up? I remember your name, like before you actually. No, you with the line. Normally, I'm really bad with names. I no, like. Good. I think it's because, like, you know, when you like, because you got like all this other stuff going on in your head, you don't really like remember that little detail. Yeah, it just goes through, 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 like out the other ear. Yeah. 
But yeah, you're surprisingly like, I don't know, like relaxed for someone who's like about to perform on stage. Yeah. Yeah, are you just used to it at this point? Yeah, I mean, I always get nervous. I think it, I'd be a bit worried if I was a bit nervous, but um, yeah. You like a bit of adrenaline? I don't really think about it. Okay. I just like a bit of it. I haven't done like any kind of performance thing since like school or something. So for me, it's like I oh, know I have to do like some presentations at uni and that kind of thing. But other than that, like I've never really had to like present or do anything in front yeah. of the stage. So well, I've, I've, I've forgotten. But it's all one to one. I, I mean, I've done like I mean, I've done like a couple of people at once, but that's like that's nothing. But it's only you've got like everyone like staring at you, and like if you fuck up, everyone's gonna like see it and stuff. That's like. Like excruciating, but yeah, that's, uh, like, that's like the old brain kind of coming in, though, isn't it? You know, because yeah. it's um, the healthiest thing that we need to belong. And if we feel ostracized from the group, then it's an awesome survival thing. There's your, there's your, there's your um, uni, there's your uni paying off all that hard work just for this moment. Well, oh, I think it's my stop. Yeah. Um, yeah, you too. I wish you best of luck with your gig. I'll send you a circle line. Take care. Bye. So yeah, like obviously in a tube station it's a bit different, um, uh, you know, like it's obviously something that doesn't happen much, you know, people don't speak to each other on the tube, that's pretty normal, that's pretty obvious, um, and so yeah, you're, you're doing something extremely ballsy in this situation, so she's, she's going to have massive respect for you for doing, doing it. Um, so that's why I definitely recommend, um, you know, doing tube approaches. Um, and it's and it's also one of those things like, you know, if you're just living your life and and just integrating day game into your life as a normal guy, then yeah, you're gonna see some attractive girls like on the tube or, or on the tube platforms, and you 100% should be approaching them if you are like someone who's kind of like an advanced guy advanced day gamer then yeah you should be um, doing these approaches because otherwise you're just missing out you're missing out and there's no reason to do, to, to not do it um, you, you're just making excuses for yourself or you know you're, you're not being um, yeah you, you, yeah you're just kind of taking the easy route or you're sticking to your comfort zones which might be the street or other other locations so yeah you do want to like widen the kind of uh, sorts of environments that you're approaching in and um, yeah, try not to think of it as like being massively different. Um, it's really just in your own. <clears throat> it's really just in your own head where, uh, yeah, the anxiety comes. It's not like inherently the actual situation itself. Uh, having said that, obviously you do have to be a bit kind of uh, aware of the fact that yeah, you are in a tube uh, environment, and uh, you know she's gonna be. May, not not so much on edge, but she might be a bit nervous as well. So you just have to be a bit sympathetic and like if She kind of gives you any kind of impression that she's not really that comfortable speaking to you Then it's best just to leave it. Don't even bother being Persistent just just leave it because you know you, because the thing is in this kind of like environment She is a little bit trapped because you know, she has somewhere to go She's in an, she's in an enclosed environment. So you do have to be a little bit sympathetic in that sense um, so yeah, um, in this uh, clip actually like, you know, I was just having like normal chat really, I wasn't really like pushing it that hard um, and yeah, I guess my energy was a little bit low here actually and, and that's absolutely fine because you know, it, it is a tube environment and uh, you don't have to be like super high energy and really like capture their attention um, as you would have to do a little bit more say like approaching on the street. Um, so like, yeah, you can go in a little bit low energy and actually like, that's normally the case actually in general for like stationary to like, people who are just stationary, like they're not moving so you don't have to have as much of an impact at the beginning. And um, yeah, you just, just have normal chat really. 
obviously bear in mind that like because of the fact that you know I approached her as she was waiting on the platform uh, there's only gonna be like one or two minutes before she has to jump on the, on the tube so there is a little bit of um, I guess uh, urgency in terms of kind of getting the conversation going um, but yeah so um, I guess you kind of got like two options really you can either jump on the tube with her or you can just let her jump on the tube and then go about you know go on your way but um, it, it depends like how you're doing it so uh, you know if you're kind of fully integrating this into your life let's say you just got out of the tube and you noticed her on the platform and then you you went to approach um, you don't obviously want to get the train again because that's not going to take you to where you want to go obviously so um, you kind of need to think about like these things like these logistics things about like you know how much time do you have are, are you going to go with her on a, partly on her journey and then get off a few stops later and, and just that kind of stuff you need to kind of think about um, if obviously you're both heading the same direction and that's absolutely fantastic because it's like you, you do your approach you have a few minutes on the platform and then you jump on the tube and then it becomes almost like a, a mini instant date which is actually absolutely brilliant and extremely efficient because you know it's literally just handed to you on a plate basically um, so that, that's actually really where the value is in this uh, like if you're both heading in the, in the same direction and, and you're you know you'll be able to sit next to each other on the tube and have a chat then it's like yeah it's like having an instant date on the tube it's really good um, <clears throat> but yeah um, the, the main thing really is obviously on the tube um, it is a, it is just inherently a bit awkward so yeah you just have to be a little bit sympathetic about that and just yeah just come across as a normal cool guy really uh, you don't have to do anything too fancy um, because she's going to be massively 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 like impressed by the fact that you've got the balls to do it in the first place because um, very few people can actually do this so um, yeah it's uh, something I definitely recommend doing I suppose like if you decide not to go on the tube with her then you would only be having like one or two minutes to have an interaction um, so yeah that's something you, you need to kind of weigh up because um, obviously I can understand if you wouldn't want to go on the, on, the, on the tube with her because you might not be at one like planning to you know go on the tube um, at that moment you might actually be getting off at that stop or whatever the case is um, <clears throat> but yeah um, if, if that's the case then yeah you've literally only got like a minute or two to have a chat uh, before she needs to head off and um, so it is quite a bit more high pressured um, and you do need to kind of do things quite quickly and obviously with like a conversation that is only going to be like a one minute long conversation it is going to be a little bit obviously more flakier than than you would have if you'd spoken for like five or ten minutes so that's just something to bear in mind but yeah you just got to try your best and you know given the circumstances you can only try your best uh, and see what happens i would say that if you're more of an intermediate guy and you've got a bit of experience with day game um, but you're not really capable of doing you know interactions like this in slightly more awkward environments then get in touch do do a day of coaching with me and um, you'll be surprised by you know how much you, you'll be able to do doing stuff like on the tube or, 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 or other situations that might you know potentially scare you because this is this is what it's all about it's really about pushing yourself to get to that next level and do stuff which is um, you know just out of your comfort zone uh, and, and you, you'll reap the benefits um, if you can do stuff like this then it's, it's immensely powerful and it's going to have a massive impact on your life um, and just there's just the amount of girls that you can potentially meet moving forwards cheers for watching if you'd be interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me where we'll go out in public and work on your approaching girls or more generally with your social confidence please visit my website ed-game.com i move through the airflow with the wind blows my thoughts go far past the fast cosmos that's a planet so i tend to gather mo matter on this station where i gather information so i never believe in everything i see is what it seems to be the devil's like a beast